Hey there everybody, hello and welcome to Relaxed Metal Reviews and today we are talking about a sleeping bag. Hey there everybody, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. Today we're going to be reviewing a sleeping bag. Um, it is uh, the middle of January, but um, it is a nice enough day and it's, going, it's supposed to be a, a cool enough night. We're going to try out this bad boy. This guy is the Coleman Oak Point sleeping bag. Uh, it's for the big and tall guys. Apparently this puppy is about up to, supposed to fit guys up to six foot four. I'm six foot two so I should have, be able to bury my head in about two inches and, and be quite well. Um, this is um, according to what the box and all the packaging will go around around the box on it first. Um, right up here and we'll hold see if I can hold this without dropping. <laughs> but anyhow as you can see it says it's about a 30 the Coleman comfort range on this is a 30 to 50 degree Fahrenheit uh, sleeping bag. So it's supposed to be, you know, on the on the cool side of things. It's not cold. You're not going to be uh, uh, in the sub-zero temperatures and be able to sleep in this puppy. But you're supposed to be supposed to be comfortable. But uh, from everything I've ever seen, people have a hard time really understanding what those. Uh, what those numbers mean. So I'm going to find out what does the 30 to 50 uh, uh, temperature range mean. And so uh, tonight we're supposed to be getting around uh, 40. So we'll be sitting right in the middle of that puppy, which is supposed to be comfort. Uh, it's supposed to be for the co uh, a comfortable range. So we're going to be about 38, 40 degrees. And so I figured, heck, let's go ahead and let's try this puppy out and let's see what's going on. So I had to pitch my wonderful tent. So anyhow, but this is a cool weather sleeping bag. Um, it's supposed to have a patented no snag zipper, which all right, that's good. Uh, nothing like trying to get into a sleeping bag and the zipper snags on everything. Uh, it's supposed to be also be a uh, a way to make uh, a roll control, which makes rolling the bag up easier. Don't know what that means. We're going to be finding that out. Um, also, there's a no tie uh, patented enclosure. Honestly, I have no clues what that means. Um, so, but also, uh, it's machine washable, and uh, you can actually even zip it together, so you can actually breed your sleeping bags, or mate the sleeping bags together. So, woohoo! Um, the uh, according to the top here, where the uh, the label that you're not supposed to be able to uh, remove, but they printed it on there, so I guess there's, it's next to impossible to remove. So I won't be breaking the law. Of course, I am the customer, so now. I, <laughs> so, but anyhow, um, it is the it's supposed to have. Uh, the outside is going it's supposed to be uh, polyester. It's supposed to be uh, uh, made by some gal named Polly, polyester. And the inside is actually supposed to be a cotton flannel. So, which is really good because the inner uh, lining is, you know, you come across these less expensive ones where they've got that really slick uh, uh, nylon feel. And also, nylon kind of, it feels too cool for me. I've laid on top of nylon. I've had some nylon sleeping bags before, and when I was little, and they they feel cold to me. So I really do like a good flannel uh, lining, inside lining. The outside uh, polyester. I'm not really going to be uh, sleeping on top of the sleeping bag tonight, so I'll be inside. So uh, we're going to be trying that out. So let's go ahead. Let's open this thing up and let's see what we have. So. Crack, 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 and if it'll come out, there we go. It's a roll. So, let's see if I can figure out where that, ah, there we go. It's that sticky stuff. Saran wrap. So, there we go. All right. Now, we have that all undone, and we have, it looks like, a set of, okay. Well, that's a nice way to do it. It is just hooked on by, you got a little hook that connects to here. So maybe that's what they were meaning by the no tie system. Could be wrong, because, so that's, I guess that's what they mean by the no tie system. It's supposed to just, all right. So what I'm doing is what I'm looking at here is like a sheep shake almost where you put it in there and it binds uh, you have enough pressure pulling down on this that it binds up on to on the cord 
and so it's not supposed to slip as easily but um, I don't know so <laughs> I'm not gonna say that it does or it doesn't because well first time me doing of me doing it it uh, didn't work too terribly well anyhow so uh, it also give you directions on how you're supposed to actually tie this up so it is a roll up that has no ties it's just got a, a hook and uh, and a loop that holds everything now like I said the outside is a it's a polyester it's just that plastic uh, plastic material that uh, that a lot of sleeping bags parachutes and other things happen to have the inside is this nice cotton uh, rather I was actually kind of hoping I had the one, got the one with the Elks on it but I didn't so but anyhow this uh, nice comfortable uh, uh, flannel uh, inner lining uh, see here what we got this this is a limited five-year warranty you get a five-year warranty with the puppy and uh, so you have a pocket for putting your phone or something else maybe a heater a light something like that um, in there here is their patented zipper it's just it looks like a zipper and but it's really big so that's probably what they're meaning by that's not going to snag because it's it acts as what what a lot of people do with a finger and it gets everything out of the way as they're zipping up so uh you got a big fat uh it's not a brass zipper it is a it's a plastic zipper so um not a hundred percent sure on the rugged rugged ability of that so but anyhow that's that's what we have let's see if i can uh kind of hold this uh, big guy up and uh yeah 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 so uh it's weight wise um it's got some bulk to it it feels it feels like it's going to be fairly comfortable um this is meant for more of a uh of just you're not going you're not going light ultra light backpacking with this puppy because this guy is and you know, they've got two zippers which is always good um but a place for your there's a hole at the end which um, if you're going deep woods camping in this puppy, uh, may not be a good thing because that's just big enough for a little snake to come sliding into there and make for life to be really interesting. So, <laughs> of course, that's just my, uh, my line of thinking of what it could or could not. Um, we've got, uh, a, uh. A cleat right there. I don't know what that cleat is for, so let's keep looking here and let's see. Um, yeah, there's nothing else in there. I don't know what the cleat's for. That's that's interesting. Um, there's a tag. What do we have here? This is uh, oh, same thing. Under penalty of law, uh, all new material consisting of 100% polyester fiber. Okay, so the the lining on here it's a fiber, it's a polyester batting, um, which okay, uh, you could definitely make that a lot more uh, a lot more insulating by using hell just cotton. <laughs> but uh, but anyhow, they they're using a polyester batting on here, so it. Uh, We'll see how well that works. Maybe that's okay. Wait a minute. So that's what that and, bit, and that was on that side. Oh, okay. That's the okay. The you know I was telling you don't know what in the world the uh, roll control making rolling easier. Okay, got your cleat. You got uh, your loop right here, which is it's right there. You slide, slide supposed to be really easy huh so it holds the ends together so that while you're rolling it up you don't get the uh, the sleeping bag that goes it starts sliding apart because you know the outside is actually of, of a longer distance than the inside so things get a little sideways to put, put it in a good way so anyhow so that's what that's their easy roll control it's just it's a cleat and loop system that uh, helps you stay tied now once you if you were to use this in the middle of the night though and you're trying to get that undone good luck um, <laughs> so all right 
but uh, that might actually come in really handy. We'll have to try that out when uh, in the morning because I'll be sleeping in here tonight and you're going to be joining me, joining with me. So uh, there we go. That's the first half of uh, this review and the next will be here in just about three shakes of lamb's tail. All right. Um, so as of right now, uh, getting ready to go to bed. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, fixing to crawl in. Um, I'm going to start off with um, just shorts and a t-shirt and go up from there so um, I can kind of tell it's already colder than what the uh, uh, what they were predicting so this might end up being kind of interesting so I went ahead and snagged a, a, a another blanket so I can throw on top if that's needed so uh, and if I still get too cold and I have to bail and I go and I decide to puss out and go head into the house We'll do that because I'm doing this in the backyard. So <laughs> anyhow, folks, um, here we go. Um, if I wake up sometime in the middle of the night, I will be adding to uh, to this and giving you my insights. All right. So wish me luck. Catch you later. All right. Uh, well, uh, woke up uh, here just a short moment ago. Just uh, and temperature's a little warmer, but. Uh, toes are still going to get a little chilled, uh, so well, uh, that's that's all we've got here at the moment. So anyhow, let's see what else I can do to to kind of help warm me up a little bit, because yeah, toes are cold. <laughs> um, all right, and yeah, we're working. We got timer going. Okay, so today uh, we've done our night, done, slept through the night. As you can tell, it's uh, it the the insulation qualities on this are a little lacking. They need to be uh, worked on just a lot <laughs> for a 30 degree. And I'm a warm natured person, so for that to actually uh, be something says uh, says a lot. So, but anyhow, so let's see how everything else uh, works on uh, on rolling up. So make sure your zipper is all the way up. Now, as we noticed before, we have these cleats. And we have a couple cleats stuck out through here. We now know what those are for. That is, you take uh, the cleat, and there's a loop on the other end. Well, we've got wind, so my tent is trying to, uh, trying to get put up, put itself up. So, you have one, and you have another one on this side. And so, like that, so that way, you've got everything all lined up. So let's scoot your back so y'all can see what's going on. So anyhow, as you see, cleat holds everything together. Cleat and loop holds everything together. So now, from the open side, that would tell me that it is time to start rolling. Which is not any is not difficult at all. Alright. You then have your little loop again around and here. And then Let's come up close with this. So you have a hook and the string that it loops around. So you loops around here and you just get it as tight as you can, hook it on and it puts it in enough of a bind that it holds everything together. So there you go, you got it rolled up. All right, rolling is very, very easy. I like that. That is one of the easiest rolls I've ever done. So uh, the Coleman, uh, sleeping back here I like it um, uh, just well one because well I finally got a sleeping bag again so I'm gonna be a little partial but for a general purpose let's uh, let's go uh, actually I'm gonna say I did that backwards because that's a really weird way of holding that so let's if I go this and let's string it through like that 
Bet you this will hold it down a lot better. Okay, well, anyhow. <laughs> so anyhow, there you go. That is a great bag. Uh, I'm not gonna say 30 degrees. Uh, I would honestly say you might be comfortable with this at about 45 degrees up to maybe about 65. Um, I think if they were to put a little bit better, higher quality uh, batting in here, you'd probably get closer to that, uh, that, uh, that 30 degree mark that they're talking about. But right now for just a general use uh, sleeping bag, I definitely recommend it. So guys, y'all have a great day. Catch y'all later.